Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about how to build a drum beat using a really neat tool that I like to use called Ultra Beat. Ultra Beat, Ultra Beat. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a nice little sequencer that you can use in Logic. It's native to Logic, so if you enjoy uh, doing it this way, it's going to be on any version of Logic. So just take some time, check it out. First thing we're going to do is add a software instrument. This needs to be a software instrument. If you'd like, you can pick Ultra Beat right off the bat, but if you just like leaving it on the default, see, you can see right here how to uh, access that at any time. So, you can, yeah. If you open your track inspector, because it may or may not open on its own. That's this little window. You can also hotkey that with the I button on your keyboard, as I just did. Um, this tells you how your track is reacting and all the different effects and stuff it has on it. If you come right here to ePiano, this is where you can select your instrument. It's the instrument slot. Um, clicking on the arrows on the right will give you the options for the different instruments. Today we're going to explore Ultra Beat and Stereo. This is Ultra Beat, and it looks extremely confusing to uh, the beginner, but good news is you don't have to worry about any of this stuff. You'll notice on the side here, you have a lot of different uh, instrument sounds. You can get a kick drum, maybe a click. I'm just tapping these with my uh, mouse. Snare drum, clap, snare low tom. If you don't like that set of instruments, you can come up here to where it says user default, drop down to your drum kits, get a different drum kit, let's say Boutique 808. Now I've loaded in a different set of drum sounds. Ah, that's a lot better. I like that a lot better. Um, now, to get rid of this, because we don't want to see this, we actually want to see what's called full view. So if you look down here in the bottom right hand corner, uh, full view is a neat uh, way to view your sequencer. So everywhere you see one of these little blue dots, this light colored bar that's right now on number one, let me move my mouse off of it so you can see it uh, lining up with the number one uh, column there. That all those sounds that lit up blue will play at the same time, and then it's going to move across the screen evenly from 1 to 32. And right now we can tell that these are set as 30 second notes, meaning that every nine or eight blocks you're going to get to another beat. So this is only one measure. You can change that. I actually prefer the 16th notes. So now every four you get to one beat. So this would be two measures of 4-4 four, four music. Now, you can play this as it is by turning on your sequencer and hitting the play button. So, that's kind of neat. But what if I want to start from scratch and create my own? Well, if I click one that's already lit and I drag, so it's a click, hold, and drag, and I drag all the way up to the top corner of the screen. Oops, I didn't get them all there. Come around this way. Then I can erase things. So now I can start by creating a kick drum track. Maybe I want it to go boom. got some different kick drum tracks going. If I want to change the volume of those kick drum tracks, I can actually adjust their velocities down here. Add the little accent. So that kind of gets that going. Uh, next 
guess we'll probably add on some snare fill. So now we're starting to develop a nice little uh, drum groove there just by adding in. You can do anything you want to. As a matter of fact, you can touch and hold and add notes all in one big time. I don't particularly prefer this method, and this is why. That kind of sounds like garbage, so I'm going to take and erase all those. So I've just got my basic thing now. Now, anytime right now, the way this is set up, sequencer powered on, anytime you press the play button and lock. It's going to play that based on where the playhead is in the project. Now, if that is not the way you want to do it, and it is not the way I enjoy doing it, there's actually another little button right down here beside the word pattern. When you go over this button that looks like it's got a little texture it says drag to the arrange window if you click and drag there you'll notice that you can actually add it as if it were a loop so now I've got it I can make it loop there's one other important thing to do though and I should have done that before I close ultra beat by the way if you want to get back into ultra beat you just click right in the center of it after you close it you need to power down the sequencer. When you power down the sequencer, now it stops this from playing every time you press the play button in Logic. You'll notice now that when we get to the end of this series of loops, it will stop the drum beat. So here we go. This is our little ultra beat rig now loaded into our Logic project. And it's really important that it ended where we said it was, just so we have more control over the actual program. So again, to do that, make sure you always go in here and power down the sequencer. Not this button, or you won't get any sound at all. It's the sequencer down here at the bottom that you're powering down. Okay, hope you enjoy. Have some fun with uh, Ultra Beat in Logic. There's a lot more that this can do, but uh, we'll hit that in another more advanced Ultra Beat lesson. Have a good day.